here and I just thought I would do a tag video that I saw and I really enjoyed by Discovering Natural um, and it's called it's my hair tag so 20 questions let's go I started my hair journey because I wanted healthier and of course longer relaxed hair I'm gonna eat this almond magnum ice cream whatever so, I've been on my hair journey since um, including my relaxed journey, of course, since June, July, 2008, um, transitioning to natural. I am fully natural. Um, what is my length now is at the back hip length and, um, in the front, um, kind of just above waist length, um, about two inches from my belly button. Uh, tailbone length, because why not, right? Um, initially it was waist, actually, initially it was, like, bra strap length, then mid back length, then waist length, um, and, and what is my hair texture? So um, there's a video, I will link it somewhere over here, since this looks like a good space, <laughs> um, where I show my hair textures, and it's for a As always, hair health is the most important thing. Um, like, I went through a stage, um, I think last year, I'll post another link somewhere, um, of a video where I did a length check and it seemed like my hair had only grown like half an inch or an inch but actually if seeing my hair was actually just filling out that um, length um, it was healthy and it was just growing outwards rather than down for that moment and then after that it started growing downwards again so I guess my hair was all catching up with that length um, so I prefer health first and with health you always get length as well that's easy Aloe vera juice. <laughs> Terrible. Um, because I love aloe vera juice. <laughs> that stuff is just mmm. Mm. If there's a product and I'm looking at the ingredients and aloe vera juice is in there or high up, then I know my hair and it probably will get. Um, the other thing I would love if they had two products is coconut oil. Basically, any product that has silicones in it, my hair hates. Oh my gosh, I just thought of a product line. Oh, this is really bad. But yeah product line that hands down my hair just completely hated and did not get and was just like what the hell are you talking about was um miss jess shampoo their shampoo was the only thing that actually seemed good ish um everything else just like fell flat on its face my hair just looked like a hot mess thankfully i only used it on this section of my hair at that point i was um i was not impressed film disrespect no my go-to hairstyle would be Let's be honest, twists in a bun. I finish washing my hair, my hair is usually in twists. It'll I just probably stay in that twist and then go up in a bun. No. Um, I have quite a lot of products, but I'm not a product junkie. Why? Because I keep getting free products and people giving me products at product swaps as well. I really should just say no. But I'm like, yes! But I should say no. Um, I get loads of products from hair events. Um, which is starting to make me think whether I should be going to them anymore. Um, I get loads of products and I just, I'm inundated. Um, so, um, as part of my clear out those happy free products, I'm going to be doing giveaways, um, in this month of September and there'll be a giveaway listed at the end of this video. So stay tuned. Um, uh, okay. I'm pretty bad at this. Um, I've gone like a whole year without trimming before and that was a bad move. So what I tend to do now is as and when I need it. So maybe every three to six months. Um, usually once in a while I will notice, oh my gosh, what's going on with my ends? And they just start to feel. So I just, um, when I'm finishing the washing routine or finishing detangling, putting in twists, and then I'll just trim off whatever is really uneven, feeling very funny uh, at the bottom. The answer to that would be never. <laughs> I don't use Directy. I don't even use my hooded dryer. I just, I don't see um, supplements. Do I remember to take them? No. I take them for health, but I rarely take them. Very rarely. I mean, like, if I take them, like, one week in the month, that would be a lot more than usual. Coconut oil. Sorry. Argan oil is good as well, but more expensive, and coconut oil does the job. I can use it for pre-poo if I felt like it. I can use it to detangle. I can use it to seal. I mean, 
It's amazing. Um, let me see. Geraldine the Great. She is also on Instagram. Um, I don't know if she has a YouTube actually. And I just want to kind of, rather than always thinking about length, 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 I want my hair to grow long, thicken out as well at each length, and just keep it. Idioma of Classy Kinks. She's another one because she really is really great with styling her hair, like amazing with styling her hair, especially her updos. So I want to learn to do that. It depends. <laughs> so one wash day, just detangling and shampooing, thinking I was being smart doing it at a sink. It took me three and a half hours. Three and a half. It was mwah, 30 minutes. So, yeah. I'll see if I can replicate that. If I can, we'll make a video. I'm just kidding. I don't care to make a video in the shower. First thing that happened was when I um, was trying out Ayurvedic powders um, and I hadn't done enough research, always do your research people, um, and I tried out Shikaka and they were like, you can use that to wash your hair. I was like, ooh, something else, no shampoo. I made a paste and put it in my hair, in the back of my hair, in just one section of the nape. Oh my gosh, that thing matted up. It took me like a month. I tell you no lie. It took me like a month to get every single bit of all those little whatever, little powdery bits, sandy little bits out of my hair, one. And two, it took like another month to get my hair feeling normal again. And my hair just kept feeling tangly and matted and like it was gonna fall off. So I learned my lesson. You know, shikakai powder, don't mess with that. Just infuse it in oil and then use it. Do not try to use it neat or, you know, with a little bit of water to make a paste. Mm -mm. It ain't no bentonite clay and it ain't no rassol clay. Rassol clay and stuff, bentonite clay and stuff, but yeah, do not mess with Chicago powder. You've been warned. I do not dye my hair. My hair is a natural um, dark brown, not actually black. Um, so whenever I wear my hair out, people start to notice it's a different color, especially in the oh. sun. It looks like it's all black, in it? You see that? It looks black, but it's not. It's like a color two, maybe even a color four, but it's not a color one B, and it's definitely not a color one. Yeah, all my ladies who've tried expressions of weave hair, you know what color. <laughs> Who did you tag? I'm tagging everyone, everyone. But, but I'm also going to, like on the sneakily, slyly, like, you know, like insta tag people because, you know, there'll be a few people who should just be, they should know they should be doing this tag their hair um but you know i don't want to offend anybody i love you all so i want you all if you got a camera if you got a phone with a camera that can record good videos i don't even care if it's like blurry just do it do the tag all right guys this was fun see you later